What's up everybody? This is your boy Pac-Man here and today we are doing a video, a retrospective on The Darkness 2, one of my own personal favorite games. Um, the Darkness 2 is a first person shooter released in 2012 by 2K Games based on the graphic novel by Top Cow. A sequel to the fantastic first edition, The Darkness 2 centers around Jackie Estacado, now boss of the Franchetti crime family. Having suppressed the darkness, lest it would consume him, Jackie is living his life as a mafia boss you, without using his powers. Suddenly, a mysterious group emerges with the goal of taking control of the darkness for themselves. Wielding a power similar to the darkness itself, Jackie must fight to survive this new threat, as well as the darkness from consuming him. Taking the great qualities from the first game and improving upon them, the darkness offers a fantastic mix of different gameplay mechanics as well as an amazing palette of colors and art for the eyes to see. The darkness powers at your fingertips have diversified and increased, making tearing through the city ever more, uh, ever more enjoyable. The gore has increased as well with brutal kill animations and various ways to dispatch your foes, unlocking new abilities through game progression. The art of the game was a match for the comic book subject matter, but was slightly less story and character driven of a game than the original. An additional game mode was added, allowing you to play as different characters with a different darkness powered weapon. Although a small part of the single player game, it was a larger part of the multiplayer game and was a welcome addition, which expanded on many of the things that were missing from the first game. Filled with collectibles and lore, interesting characters, multiple endings, tons of action, non-stop gory brutality, The Darkness True 2 gets a well-deserved, in my book, 9 out of 10. The game is honestly one of my favorites. The use of the Darkness tentacles for kills is amazingly fun. The Dark Ling, which is your little golem-like demon companion is probably one of the most fun things to use in the game mainly because now you have a variety of four different types that you can summon as you go through the game all in all it's definitely a number one recommendation on my list if you are going to pick up a game that you want an absolute fun time a good story tons of gore you definitely should pick this up. Again, a 9 out of 10 in my book. If you disagree, leave a comment. Um, if you agree, leave a comment. Uh, leave a like, subscribe if you like the content, and if you have any suggestions for the next videos coming up, you know, just let me know. Leave a comment in there, and I definitely do read all of them. Any constructive criticism is also uh, welcome. And thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Have a wonderful day.